This is Pioneer's DMHC 2500 NEX. The DMHC 2500 NEX is an in-dash modular solution digital media receiver with a 6.8 inch touchscreen. Pioneer's modular solution receivers are designed for applications often in newer vehicles with limited depth behind the dash that prohibits the installation of a traditional full depth 1DIN or 2DIN in-dash receiver. This installation flexibility is achieved by physically separating the LCD touchscreen display from the sub-chassis that contains the CPU, the control system, terrestrial radio tuner, amplifier, and all the input-output connections. This allows the sub-chassis to be mounted in a different location or in a different horizontal or vertical orientation within the vehicle. This product can be installed in many different vehicles using existing and readily available dash install kits. The DMHC 2500 NEX is compatible with Android Auto and Google Home when connected to a compatible Android phone with a wired connection through USB. The DMHC 2500 NEX is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Apple HomeKit when connected to a compatible iPhone with a wired connection through USB. The DMHC 2500 NEX has three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers and is backup camera ready and Sirius XM ready. The USB port can be used to connect your phone and play back MP3 or FLAC music and MP4 videos. The system features built-in HD radio and built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. This is a really big box. All right, get this open. First thing we have here is the wire harness. Now we use the wire harness here to connect power and ground and speakers and all of the electrical connections from the in-dash receiver over to the vehicle. Next up, we have a USB extension. Uh, the USB port is on the, uh, the control box or the hideaway box for this in-dash receiver. And so we need a USB extension to bring that up into the passenger compartment so you can plug in your Android phone, your iPhone. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have the Bluetooth microphone. Now, the Bluetooth microphone here is used for making hands-free phone calls. It comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for a very flexible installation. Next up, we have some install screws. There's the install screws. And next is uh, are the mounting brackets. Now, there's two metal mounting brackets here. They are very important for installation, uh, for mounting the screen or mounting the hideaway box or both. And then we have the, uh, the input-output wire harness. And we'll give you a more careful look at the input-output wire harness here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, we'll show you all of, the, uh, all of the different connections. Next up, we have the uh, quick start guide. There's the quick start guide. And please be sure to download a complete copy of the owner's manual right to your cell phone in PDF form. You can find it on pioneerelectronics.com. Okay, and lastly, here is the warranty card. Okay, let's get the receiver up out of here because it's in two different pieces. First piece is right here. This is the screen, and we'll give you a careful look at the screen and how it connects up to the uh, hideaway box in just a moment. And here is the, uh, the other part, the hideaway box. The flat panel display of the DMHC 2500 NEX is a 6.8 inch touchscreen and is just one inch thick. Or maybe I should say it's just one inch thin. The operation keys are on this slim hard button panel on the left side. This is the voice activation key. The volume control is here. And the home key and display keys are here. You'll do most of your interaction with the in-dash receiver with the 6.8 inch flat panel touchscreen display. The back panel of the DMHC 2500 NEX flat panel display has only one connection. This is where you'll plug in the RGB connection cable to the control unit. The cable is 12 inches long and is easily long enough to connect the control unit to the flat panel display when using the included mounting hardware. The mounting brackets included with the DMHC 2500 NEX can mount to the back of the screen or to the hideaway chassis. If you mount the brackets to both the hideaway chassis and the screen, 
you can use these holes as ISO mounts for many standard 2DIN install kits. For installation flexibility, an optional RGB extension cable is available. The Pioneer CD RGB150E or RD RGB150A both offer an additional 5 feet of RGB flat panel display extension cable. On the back panel of the DMHC 2500 NEX, we find the USB port here can be used for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The USB port can also be used for music, movies, and still images through a USB flash drive. And remember, we include a USB extension in the box to bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. Here are two black jacks. This jack can be used to operate your steering wheel controls through a third-party adapter. And the Bluetooth microphone included with the product will plug in right here. You'll use this port for the optional SXV300 tuner from Sirius XM. And this is where you'll plug in the power and ground wire harness connected to the vehicle. The AM FM and HD radio antenna from the vehicle will plug in right here. This is where the input and output wire harness plugs in. And here is a close up of the input output wire harness. Here are three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They can be set up as front, rear, and subwoofer output, or for more control and better sound quality, high, mid, and low output. These are 4 volt output RCAs. This is the audio and video RCA input. And the brown RCA here is the dedicated backup camera input. The 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input is an audio and video auxiliary input. This is the RCA video output. And finally, this is the external mute. This can be used to mute the in dash receiver with a temporary ground signal from an external device. And that is Pioneer's DMHC 2500 NEX 6.8 inch screen Apple CarPlay and Android Auto component in dash receiver. And what's in the box?